I'm awake, my hair is a mess, it's time to build another PC. Alright, so for the case, we're gonna go with the Fractal Core 1000. CPU we're gonna be using is none other than the AMD X4860K. Let's go in the storage room and see what other parts we can pick up. Yes, I still haven't done the shelves. I am slacking. I have so many projects to do that are a priority right now. Um, but I will get to it. I don't know where I put my other stuff. Oh, here we go. The Sniper RAM from G-Skill. 500 watts of goodness. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, there we go. I guess we'll use this for the GPU. Got a Sapphire Vaporx R9270X. This should do just fine. And then the motherboard, we can use the Gigabyte F2A88XMD3H. <laughs> Lots of you guys ask me what I do, my PC parts every. Why is that missing? So, a lot of you guys have been asking me what I do with my PC after I'm done building them. I take them apart and I put them in the storage unit until I need to use the parts again for another PC build. So, yeah. That's what I do. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That right there is the $450 budget PC build for the month of December. I know I was supposed to get this out for November, but other projects came and I had to get those done. Came at the cheese. So it's now time to put the parts together, and I'm gonna be filming the uh, time lapse build like I do on all my PC builds. You guys seem to like that stuff, so I'll continue to do that. And then after that, it will be the benchmarks video and then the how to build video. So, yeah, the, the budget builds always have three videos the time lapse, the benchmarks, and the how to build in case you guys wanna buy the parts and do it yourself. Will there be a giveaway? I don't know. So my budget builds are a bit trickier to do in the sense that I have to do the time-lapse build and then the how-to build guide at the same time. So while I'm doing the time-lapse build, I have to stop, slow down, and then get some close-up shots to use for the uh, how-to build guide. So it does take longer to do, uh, much longer than the Ultimate Gaming PCs where I just do the time-lapse build, put it together, and then do the benchmark. So yeah, it's never fun doing these guys, but I do it because you guys like watching them. So whew, let's do this. Alright, so far everything is going great. I just finished putting in the motherboard, the RAM sticks, and the CPU heatsink. So now I gotta do is just screw in the motherboard into the case, and I can finish up with the power supply, graphics card, hard drive, and I think that's basically it. Go to power this bad boy and do the benchmarks. Just a quick tip on anyone that's building PCs, it's always a good idea to pick up a power supply testing unit like this. I picked this one up way too late after receiving like two or three dead um, power supplies. It just made my life so much easier testing it before I actually uh, begin the build. So I'll leave a link down below on where you guys can pick it up, but I'll show you real quick on how easy it is to use this. So it's quite easy to get this set up. All you have to do is make sure the power supply is hooked up to the wall, uh, make sure it's off of course, and then you're going to be plugging in the 24-pin uh, connector on one side and then your other motherboard, either 4-pin, 6 or 8-pin on the other side, depending on what uh, power supply you have. So once everything is hooked up, turn on the power supply, and then you just look at the display and make sure all the numbers are correct. Uh, it does come with a piece of paper basically telling you guys what numbers to look for or what codes to look for if your power supply is not functioning correctly. So basically if it shows um, LL or HH on the LCD, then basically the power supply is not running 
correctly and it's got to make sure that the power supply is delivering uh, enough voltage as you can see the ranges are listed here but yeah based on everything uh, it's functioning normally of course because I tested this before uh, so yeah let's move on with the build taking a break real quick and eating some delicious cake that Brianne made for me guys it's finally here The final two pieces <laughs> to finish up my acoustic wall. God damn it. Looks like I need another freaking gray one to finish this. Ah. I swear, it's like an endless battle. I'll never win. So I just noticed I'm shooting a time lapse video of me shooting a time lapse video of the PC build. Time lapse <laughs> Vaporeon is now complete. Now it's time for the fun part, the cable management. So, it's looking pretty good so far. Just gonna have to spiff up the cables a bit. Got my trusty little um, spinning table, turntable thing on the bottom to help with cable management. A lot of you guys have been asking me where I got this or where I get this from, and I'll go to leave a link down below, but I picked it up from Amazon. It makes building PCs so much easier because I can turn them around basically and um, work on the cables. But yeah, also all of the parts for this will be linked down below if you guys want to check out what parts I'm using for the PC if you haven't seen my PC build already. Here it goes, the first ever boot. Three, two, one. Whoa! Did you see that boot speed? That was ridiculous. Crazy fast boot up speeds for Vaporeon, way faster than Xeon or any other PC I've built. Alright, so all of the games and drivers have been downloaded and updated. The only thing that's left to do is basically run the games and do the gaming benchmark. But it's getting late now, so I'm going to leave that for tomorrow. And I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. But actually, I want to show you guys something real quick. Look how quiet the PC is right now. I'm going to shut up for a second. This is how, it's, uh, this is how quiet it is on idle mode. Pretty damn impressive, especially with the uh, stock heatsink. Way more quiet than... Big Red over there. Speaking of Big Red, I guess I'll give you an update since, I, <laughs> since I'm talking about it. Uh, that's a Titan X in there at the moment. Um, I probably won't even run dual, titans, uh, dual Titan X's in my PC just because I don't really need it. I think one is uh, fine for now until I finally uh, build my Skylake PC, which I hope I can get done by the end of December. So, got my 2780 Ti's over here as you can see. Probably lock them up somewhere, but I don't know, the green just doesn't look nice there, so I have an update video on how to mod GPUs coming up soon, so that's kind of why I'm leaving this open for now, because I'm going to be working on that video soon. Anyways, I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you, if you, as always, if you enjoy these vlogs, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.